Everybody that's been following along with my calls, trades and targets is now sat in wonderful profits on Bitcoin. If you have missed out somehow, <laughs> then I'm going to try my best to still get you in profits for the upcoming next move. But of course, I've been making my bias, my trades, my targets extremely clear and simple to understand. For the past few months, you know, we have been remaining absolutely bullish, no short trades, simple, clear and long. Nothing is changing for the bias. We're still remaining our plan for new highs to come, you know, long and chill higher prices, bullish bias, you know, the YouTube videos, do not miss this Bitcoin pump, you know, why I remain bullish and long on Bitcoin. This was from, uh, you know, the, the week we've been now trading sideways in this range, you know, the target has been clear, that NPOC trading above us that we've been talking about for the last few videos, that was sat on the 30, 382 Fibonacci level from all time high down to our recent lows there at the end of 2022. So this has been a absolutely key target for myself. And we have now hit that target oh so perfectly. That 382, of course, was just above the NPOC. So we took out the NPOC, we hit the 382, and we got our rejection and a bit of a downturn now. So what's next to come? Everybody that followed along on those YouTube videos, you are now sat in lovely profits if you executed on the short trade. But if you miss that short trade, if you are missing all of the moves somehow, even with the guidance, then this video is going to be for you because I'll be telling exactly what we're looking at next. So I'm going to please everybody. Let's get into the content, into the video. And I'll pick up where I left off my last YouTube video, where I was still once again looking for higher prices and that NPOC target to be hit. So pick it up from there uh, and then I'll explain exactly why we're looking for our next targets. So um, obviously we went over a week within that range, right? Over a week, we were nine days uh, going sideways. And you know, I said several times, right? If we just drop from here, wow, the amount of people that would have lost a lot of money because of my call would have been, you know, pretty bad because I was just extremely clear, concise, and confident that my higher prices and target will be hit. If we had dropped, you can imagine the outrage. People would have been, you know, pretty, pretty uh, upset. But once again, if you follow along with Chart Champions, you are reaping the rewards once more. We come along and we hit that target. But where was a long opportunity? The final long opportunity before that target was hit. And it actually came in right here on the charts. So you might be wondering, what is this? Slightly front run the daily? Well, look at this, then, ladies and gentlemen. That is a slight front run of the daily, yes. But it is a swing failure pattern of the prior lows from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, bam, swing failure pattern. But not just that, it actually came into the monthly NPOC. So this was a monthly NPOC that we had back on the 1st of November, uh, 34,200. We were trading at the time, 34,400. And I told my team a retrace to hit this naked point of control would be very nice indeed. Of course, the pullback to that NPOC, fill that before we pump up to a higher NPOC target. This is over a 5% bounce to the upside. So the yeah, the volatility and opportunity is right now large, very large indeed. What happened next? Well, we got the retrace for that swing failure pattern. We actually then, of course, at the same time of the SFB, are tapping that NPOC that we wanted to see. Very nice hit for the retrace. That gives a very nice long opportunity. Okay, so really simply, you come down, you get the SFB, you tap the naked point of control there on the monthly that we wanted to see tapped. And after that tap, it uh, actually ends closing back above 34,200. So a nice close above there on the one hour chart. And then you can simply look for that NPOC target above us. This was the last opportunity for the long that you had before we were looking for this rise in price to around the that naked point of control zone. And of course, what happened next? We got a lovely pump onto that naked point of control. After that naked point of control tap, which again was right on that 382, just above, you know, just below, sorry, $36,000. We got that move up. We tapped the naked point of control. You know, we slightly breached through $36,000. And then we get a little bit of a retrace. So there's a few short opportunities here. First is, um, you know, tap of the NPOC, simply. The second short opportunity, okay, if you this is a bit too advanced, this is a bit too quick, you want a little bit more confirmation. If you want to just take it more simple, then you could wait for the local MS change 
or of course when you've come down here to look at that previous low looking for then the lower high here at this point you've got an entry trigger your entry your short stop loss is above the high and your target could be absolutely back down at this daily level here so you've got an entry stop loss target can be down at the daily okay of course you could have a target down at you know fifteen thousand dollars if you want but you know i'm just talking about a acceptable take profit one target okay so we can see now after that nice rejection off of 36k naked point of control 382 fibonacci we did get this rejection candle from here we put in that lower high and then boom a nice move to the downside you might wonder why are we bouncing from where we're bouncing from now then and i'll make this very clear and this is what i told my team that i've actually recommended for a take profit one for those that did take the short that is the range point of control so we pull the range here we look at the volume profile Okay, and you can see we come into the range point of control. So I basically told my team this is an absolutely acceptable take profit one because uh, I <laughs> I just believe range point of control is always a very acceptable take profit one. Okay, from the high of that move down to that range point of control, you know, from the low here is 5%. So you're looking about an acceptable at least 3% uh, from an acceptable trade point standpoint. So, you know, for me, the way that we run this trade, okay, let's say you got in your nice short position, okay, and then you look for your stop loss invalidation above the high, you can actually, for example, have a target, let's say a much lower target, okay, you can have that much lower target. But what we like to do is lock in that take profit one. And then, for example, if we see something like this, now, this is where you've guaranteed yourself profit. You know, if you followed along, you listened to the targets, you waited for the rejection off of that NPOC, you took the short, you're now guaranteed profits, even if we pump from here. Why? Well, if this does drop, buda, 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 boom, well, then you've got a lovely short trade, you've hit take profit one, and that can run into even more profits. Okay, so that's the first option for this short trade. This, this drops harder and you get, more profits on the short alternatively now you've locked in take profit one you could even move this stop loss to entry and that protects you for this you know let's say we come down to this daily first or we just bounce from here uh basically what that does is if we do pump from here that short position of course obviously gets stopped out okay so you get stopped out of that short trade so how does that equal profit still because you've locked in take profit one you've moved your stop loss down if that stop loss is triggered well, that's perfect because that trade has still made you money. Although officially, yeah, it didn't hit your overall target. It didn't end in uh, massive profits. It still has ended in a bit of profit. And that's the most important thing when it comes to trading. Why? Because right now, if you're taking short positions, you do have to understand that you are still trading against the trend. The trend right now is still bullish. Okay, absolutely is. The trend right now is still strong as well. So we have got a rejection and we have had an absolutely acceptable short trade entry. So the people that have took shorts, well done. You are sat in profits right now and you can guarantee yourself the profit by locking in the take profit one. Move the stop loss. And then if we do get continuation of this trend and another move to the upside, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. You get stopped out of that short trade, which you would have profited on, and you look for the next trade. And for me, that next trade, of course, is coming in at around $37,000 off of our daily naked point of control. This one is now officially tapped. So the next level above is 37 k Okay. Don't feel this is an absolutely massive level. Of course, we've got much bigger levels around forty to $48,000. Okay. So we got in my opinion, much bigger levels above us, you know, all the way up to $48,000. But as always, for me, it's a level to level game. And, you know, we got that first rise, second rise, bigger fake up to 37k to be aware of. So, um, yeah, I don't think this is the absolutely must take, you know, position, but it's always nice to give yourself that level of protection. And as well, it helps you sleep at night, you know, so if we wake up with a 10% drop to the downside, well, at least you've got some form of hedge. At least you've got a short trade running. And if you do wake up to a massive pump to $40,000 tomorrow, well, that short trade simply got stopped out. You still got some profits and it's on to the next one. You see that mentality that we get ourselves into as a professional trader? We look for consistent trades every single day. Every single day, we're just looking to take a high probability trade. I had to wait one whole week 
for my target to be hit of that NPC. One week, I wasn't even taking trades within this section of the chart. I was remaining patient. I had my bias clear as day, long and chill for my higher prices to come. I'm remaining bullish. Again, if we had dropped from here, wow, I would have been absolutely incorrect. I would have been wrong to tell everyone to remain bullish. I would have been wrong to say no short trades yet. But we got it right. We hit our target gave an acceptable trade, and now I can remain absolutely patient once more for a continuation to the upside to 37k, where I'll look for another trade or simply get out of that trade, hit the stop loss, it's fine, I'm not bothered, <laughs> and I'll look for $37,000, right? Uh, in terms of a, another long trade setup, I will go through that now. Uh, I will just say this very quickly before I go over that long trade, uh, and that is if you want, um, you know, the more precise updates, exact biases, more, um, you know, the, you have to remember I'm doing YouTube videos once a week, you know, sometimes once every other week. So you're having to wait a little bit for updates. So if you don't want to wait for updates, we got live streams every single day <laughs> via the Chart Champions website. Tomorrow I'll go over Bitcoin, higher term time frame, swing trades. We got live trading. We got the whole educational course. We got dedicated altcoin streams. You can now request an altcoin that you want covered. You know, we've really this year went absolutely full on trying to, you know, just give you the best service possible. You know, if you were a member a year ago, I guarantee you won't recognize it because we have gone, oh, we've just put in a lot of time, a lot of effort to fully increase the service. Um, yeah, it's 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 unrecognizable from a year ago. It's so, honestly, just so much better. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's for if you are taking trading very seriously, check us over at chartchampions.com. If you want more, some more, you know, fun, short form trading content, of course, I'm releasing a lot of videos right now over on TikTok. Uh, you know, last video, top three ways people lose money, spending a million dollars, best passive income streams. So, you know, you've got that short form content if you like it over on TikTok. Instagram and the second channel CC pool. So there's content for everybody, whether it's on different socials, whether it's on our website where you want content every single day and live streams, the education, um, you know, there's something for everybody there. And for the people that want a long trade, <laughs> I think we got the uh, best opportunity really. Okay. Um, of course, we got that daily on the value area low and we got the NPOC there at 33,600. I feel that the biggest, and I mean, you know, best long opportunity is of course much lower prices from here but i don't want to go into those much lower prices in this video so for now the more local which i would refer to as day trader uh level was the daily okay that daily why because it sits on a series of lows it sits on the value area low okay so the daily is more of your day trade lower term time frame entry trigger okay this requires some skill you cannot just place a limit order Okay, and why would I always say you can't place a limit order? Because if this comes down and you just go straight through the level, if you're sat there with a limit order, well, then you are just going to get absolutely wrecked as price goes down. You're instantly underwater. That's why you wait for a reaction. You know, something like this, this is an acceptable reaction, right? Wick onto the level, close back below. If you see that, that's a perfectly good reaction. You know, you can stick it on a one hour chart, stick it on a, what I prefer, the 30 minute chart. And then you just, you know, sit patiently waiting for that to play out, right? Whereas if you are pre-setting an order, then your problem is you could instantly get in that trade and underwater as price, you know, falls. So, you know, just very quickly, I just want to know it's going along a little bit long, but I'll just show you here, 30 minute chart. This is my favorite chart for SFP type trades. So when you see that naked point of control that you had there around $36,000, you wick up onto that, close back down below. This is an acceptable candle. Why? 30 minute chart. Very nice rejection candle well then you've got a clear entry trigger stop loss and well take profit one was the range point of control which is here right and if you did you know not feel confident taking that you have a retest you have a you know you have a few different opportunities but of course if you're taking these trades you need confidence how do you gain confidence well it's by learning the material learning the education and you know, learning the education learning the absolute theory behind the trades then it's you know taking the trades and then it's building statistics, journaling. And then once you get in a series of winners, once you're surrounding yourself with champions, you're not going to be hesitating. You're going to see the reaction. You're going to take the trades and you're going to walk away with profits. So, yeah, I want to wrap it up there. Final words for me will be uh, the trend absolutely is still bullish. So don't get 
Don't get carried away thinking, oh, this is really bearish now. This is going to drop. No, nope, I would still say the trend is bullish. Yes, there's been an absolutely brilliant short trade. That short trade is guaranteed profits even if we pump from here. So, yeah, let's not get carried away. The trend does remain bullish. We've got a nice short trade, but it's nothing to, you know, go home for yet. So, um, yeah, next target above us, 37K. We break that. I really feel we can push to that $48,000, to be honest, 50K plus. And... You know, local pullback, this is a minor level, but the bigger levels of support are obviously below 30K. So that's just to be aware of. Uh, if you want more precise updates, okay, if you want those daily live streams, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. I've got tomorrow my champions live stream. So everybody that wants the higher term time frame swing trades, I'll give you my exact higher term time frame bias. Wherever now I'm looking still for 50K or looking for a bigger decline, I'll tell you in the Champions live stream tomorrow. So I'll catch you all over there. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Comment down below, leave a like, and I'll read every single one. So thank you, everybody. And let's continue to crush the charts and make some wonderful profits. That's it, champs. See you all over on the Discord. Cheers and goodbye.